In this tutorial, you will learn how to change your laser from just a normal regular laser to whatever you want. So in this case, I'm going to be changing that to a troll face, which I have right here. Uh, that's right there. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that your troll face or whatever your image is, is transparent in the background and is uh, white in the actual image. Because our background is black, uh, so if you were to have uh, a no, if it was transparent uh, in the middle, then you would be able to see your image because it's just completely black. So uh, you need to make sure that it is white. All right. So what we need to do is get our image, which is here, and we need to copy that. So copy and put it into our assets folder. So I'm just going to paste it right here. Okay, so it's right there. And then back in here, you'll see that it's imported here. Now you need to make sure that it is single and it should pick it up, but if it's not, just make sure it's single. And then you need to make sure that you set the max size correctly. So my image is 885 by 720, so the uh, next number up from that is 1024. So I'm going to set it to 1024. And then get rid of the compression because we don't need to compress it. Alright, so once you've got your image there, uh, we can drag it in, so I'm just going to drag it right there. And as you can see, it's pretty big, so it's not going to look very, uh, it's going to look pretty weird if we have that as a bullet, and it's going to be pretty unfair because we put everything at once. So what I'm going to do is scale it down to, say, 0 0.2 and 0 0.2, and that's probably more of a size that we'll be using in-game, maybe even too big still. We could we could also like squash it if you want like that. Maybe it's one point yeah, one point one. Yeah, let's do that. So it looks alright, cool. Maybe a this way. Okay. Yeah, that looks right, right? So now we need to make it a prefab because all the other things are prefabs and there's gonna be multiple of them when you're shooting on screen. So drag it in there, we've got our prefab. And then we can delete this one because we don't need it. Alright, so in where the actual bullet is set is under player and then we need to scroll down to the bullet. So right now it's player laser which is this one here. But we want to change it to the uh, troll face so we can drag it in right there. And now it will work. Alright, so let's test it out. Play loads all right there we go but unfortunately it's not actually moving because uh, the player laser has some box glider and it has a bullet controller and an audio source and everything like that so we just need to copy all of this to the uh, troll face so uh, the first thing is a uh, box glider so we need to go there and add a box glider 2d and it has it's a trigger and what else that's it so we just need to tick that All right and then the next thing is a put we need the bullet controller scripts so we're gonna go here and we're gonna add you know, a scripts folder and a bullet controller there so we add that in it's gonna let me there we go alright so once we scroll down and uh, in the player laser, it's got a movement speed of 15. So we're going to set that right here. And the bullet impact uh, is a laser impact, which is could be somewhere here. Where oh, yeah, is laser? Can we copy that? Oh, it's that right. So we need to drag that laser impact in, and enemy explosion right there. So those two are in place. Now the final one is or the audio source. Uh, so we need to add an audio source which is there. And then we need to choose the audio clip, which is to play a laser. So audio sound effects. And play a laser, except we need I need to select this. Alright, so 
fertilizer and the output I believe just left as none and that's all fine everything's done so now the uh, thing should actually move so there you have yourself a new bullet and yeah alright bye